What's up, gang? It's your boy, Chris. And uh, this video today is going to be about fitness education. I know everybody got on that new year, new me grind. So they in the gym. They changing their diet. They doing everything that they need to do. Or they saying they're going to do everything they need to do. And for the most part, it's easier said than done. Um, a lot of people that I know who are heavy into fitness who are very well in shape, younger guys, older guys. Um, the same commonality with everybody is it is a lifestyle. So a lot of the principles that they apply to their everyday fitness life is basically a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of education. So this video basically is, you know, how to strengthen your journey on your fitness, on your fitness run, whatever, whatever your fitness goal may be. So <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about my personal fitness goal, um, what I'm doing in the gym, um, talk about my fitness education, what I'm learning, what I plan on applying um, throughout my fitness journey. Um, and I'm going to talk about a lot of things that uh, I have a lot of downfalls and deficiencies with in terms of fitness. One of the biggest things for me is nutrition. So, um, it's going to be a big journey if y'all stick with me throughout this, uh, video series. Um, so what do I want to do? What, do, what does Chris want to do? What is Chris trying to do? Well, personally for myself, um, I'm trying to practice hypertrophy, hypertrophy, however the hell you say it. Basically, it's the big science word for muscle building. Now, I'm a big boy. I put on a lot of body fat easily. Um, so, for me, uh, my goal is to not lose that body fat, uh, excuse me, not lose muscle in the process of cutting the fat. So, how do I plan on accomplishing this? Well, through my education, which is through YouTube. Um, reading articles, reading literature, reading books. Um, I've come to understand that I'm going to have to incorporate a necessary evil into my routine, and that is cardio. So I was looking on YouTube, looking at all the, the fitness gurus, the CPT, if you don't know what CPT is, Certified Personal Trainers, who uh make videos and, and share a lot of good insight, a lot of good information. And basically what everybody was talking about was list and hit cardio training. So list cardio training is low intensity state um, cardio. So basically all it is is you're doing low intensity cardio, constant movement, you're not doing rapid rapid movements. Um, a lot of times it's incorporated over a longer period of time. Um, you're probably burning more calories over a longer period of time than you would um, if you were doing a higher intensity set. And um, a lot you see a lot of bodybuilders that do this. Um, there's a lot of personal reasons why people do this, not just competitive guys, but um, guys who are just into the bodybuilding physique and want to maintain um, that physique and continue to cut muscle fat, uh, body fat, excuse me. Um, then you have HIT, high intensity interval training, which is basically more or less um, short periods of high intensity circuit cardio. For the most part, um, that's going to be like uh, you do 15 second interv intervals of the fastest cardio workout that you can do. You slow down and rest for about three to five minutes doing a constant pace of a lower intense cardio. Once you get through that five minute resting period, you get back up on that 45 second grind of high intensity circuit uh, cardio and you keep doing that for a period of about 10-15 minutes and the scientific theory behind that is 
Um, you burn more calories in a short amount of time than you would if you were to do the low intensity um, um, state cardio. So, um, and also I believe people are saying that uh, you burn more calories uh, after the workout than you normally would. So, basically, um, that's where I'm at with my journey, trying to figure out how to incorporate the right type of cardio to cut fat and not lose muscle, because I'm a big weight guy. Like, personally, I don't like running at all. I don't like calisthenics. I don't like anything cardio, but I know it has to be done. It's a necessary evil. Um, so... On my fitness journey, I just got to figure out how to fit it in. Um, I'm in the Navy, so uh, one of the standards for us and our physical fitness is to be able to do cardio for whatever the, for what the Navy standard is for cardio. So for the past 12 years, I've had to maintain that standard. And I, I got to be honest with you, is a lot of people will probably jump me for this, those that are in the Navy and those in military service, but for me personally, it's not easy, and it's probably not easy for me personally because I just don't like it. I just don't enjoy it. I know there's a lot of people out there that say, well, hell, I don't enjoy it too, but it's, you know, I I make it easy. Well, that's that's you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I figure out a way to maintain, so um, now that I'm on a whole different grind with what I'm trying to do for myself personally, physically, um, I'm going to incorporate some of this list and hit training that I'm I'm finding out about or learning about on YouTube and and some of the articles that I'm reading. So we went over my fitness goals. What I what I want to do. Um, if it's not obvious by now, I like the bodybuilding physique. Now when I say that, I don't mean the the big Mr. Olympia type guys with the the huge traps, the huge lats, the huge buys. You know, I'm more so like the natural bodybuilding guys. Guys that are big, but they're not freakishly big. Um, they're toned. Um, they have uh, minimal body fat. And, you know, basically they don't juice. Um, they don't take a whole hell of a lot of supplements. And um, they follow a, a strict diet. And um, that's basically what I'm going for. And that's, that's what my fitness goal is. So, um, basically, a lot of the things that I'm, I'm doing, like, um, again, I want to go back to what I, what I started the video out saying. Um, in order to do these things for myself and what I recommend you doing is building your education on it. Now, a lot of people um, probably got gym memberships. They're fairly cheap these days. Um the gyms have become a, a franchise corporate uh, business, so you're seeing a lot of them pop up everywhere. A lot of 24-hour fitness, a lot of um, um, Anytime Fitness, LA Fitnesses, and uh, Planet Fitnesses. Uh, a lot of them 24 hours that offer a facility for you to do do your stuff, you know at a time that fits you and they offer some pretty good rates they have some pretty good programs in there they offer some pretty good classes and they also have um, some pretty good personal trainers uh, all the other stuff costs extra money the personal trainers um, the nutritionists that they have on staff that's gonna cost you a little extra money um, if you had the money to spend on that that's great um, there's other things out there like websites they can put you in touch with uh, certified personal trainers and they can hook you up. A lot of guys do a lot of work online, so they'll take pictures of you. They'll do videos, and then they'll give you a meal plan. They'll give you an exercise routine, and they'll they'll stay in contact with you weekly to track your progress. They'll motivate you and coach you along your way, but even that costs money. And they'll also educate you um, as to what fitness entails and, and what you have to do to incorporate uh, a lifestyle, this into your lifestyle. Um, and how to do it and, and how it all works and how to do it properly and all that good jazz. But me personally, I probably have the money to spend on it, but I don't have the money to spend on personal training nutritionists. 
And that's the wonderful thing about YouTube. You got a lot of fitness gurus out of there, out here. You got a lot of certified experts out here. Um, one of the things that I personally pride myself in doing, if I see somebody that's successful in doing something, that's done reach and attain a goal that I desire to reach and attain, I try to pick their brain. You know, I was, I, my biggest question is, how did you do it? What worked for you? Now, I don't follow everything they say verbatim because everything that worked for them may not work for me. We're two different people. But I'm sure somewhere in that wealth of knowledge, there's something in there that I'm lacking that could help me out, that could push me a little bit further. And that uh, widens and broadens my education in whatever it is that uh, I choose to do. So it's the same way with fitness. And the wonderful thing about today's age and time is you got the Internet. Now, I know there's a lot of BS on the Internet. There's a lot of... People claiming to be experts, so you kind of got to weed through, you know, who's giving you legit information, who's giving you BS, who's giving you some stuff that's going to work for you, and who's giving you stuff that may work for you, but not really going to work for you, you know what I'm saying? And that's fairly easy. I mean, there's so much stuff out there, and you can, it, you can check people's credentials and, and, and backgrounds, and the ones who really are... Um, really are serious about what they do they'll they'll put all their personal information out there for you to see i'll say hey this is my certification this is where i got my certification from this is what i look like uh four or five years ago this is what i look like now these are the people that i train these are my clients this is what they looked like uh 12 to 16 months ago this is what they look like now they'll give testimonials they'll they'll their clients will give video testimonials and you know, they're legit, you know, all the information is out there for you to find. Um, and the wonderful thing about a lot of those guys, they do a lot of stuff on YouTube. They share a lot of information on YouTube. So you can literally take the information that they're using to train their personal clients that their clients are paying for. They're still sharing it with you. They're just not doing a one-on-one -on -one session with you. So you kind of got to pick and pull from each one to build your own personal personal uh, routine, a, a, a diet and meal plan, or whatever. So, again, YouTube fitness videos. I'll share with some in the link description down below. Um, and just a constant refeeding of your education. Um, education never stops. So, your fitness education should always continue to grow. Um, again, what I'm learning from these videos... Um, and my own personal research and breakdown of my new routine, um, uh, how it, how it applies to the breakdown of my new routine. So recently I told you guys that I joined a new gym. Um, so it's a 24 hour deal before I was working out at a fitness facility at a hospital. Um, I go to the gym early in the morning. I wake up by 4, 4.30, leave the house by 4.30. Um, I'm in the gym by 5, 5.15. It's a long drive. Um, and I do my weight training. I try to get in some cardio if I can. I have to be at work by 7.30. That's going to get cut down to 7 o'clock. Um, so from 5.15 to about 6.30, 6.45, which is pushing it. I got to get a lot of stuff in. I told you guys before, I'm a volume trainer. I, I like doing the volume deal. I don't have no problem staying in the gym for two hours or whatever. As long as I got my music in my ears and I'm motivated on what I'm doing and I, I'm by myself, I don't have a workout partner. I don't have no distraction. My mind is focused on what I am doing in the gym. Um, I can do, I can knock out two hours. Well, it's tough to knock out two hours when your schedule is under the gun. So I joined the 24-hour gym uh, closer to where I stay. And my new routine is morning times, I'm going to try to fit my cardio in. So what that means is I'm going to start applying the list, low intensity, um, low intensity uh, based cardio in the morning times and um, I'm going to do my weight training in the afternoon, evening times or whenever I get off of work and um, I'm going to see how that works for me for the next couple of weeks and uh, I'm noticing a, a change in, in my body structure. I've been jumping on the scale 
at this new gym. I'm not quite sure if it's calibrated right. So I'm going to go jump on the scale at the hospital Monday, which I know is calibrated right. And um, I'll let you guys know what my progress Monday is. But, um, yeah, that's going to be my routine. So every morning uh, is core and cardio uh, for an hour and a half. Um, shower up, go to work, get off work, go to the gym closer to the house, and I'll get my weight training in, and uh, we'll see how that works. So, And also, I plan on incorporating high-intensity interval training in that weekly program. Probably about two days a week, I'll, I'll do that. I like to do a lot of jump rope because um, it's, it's more fun to me to do jump rope than to do fucking sprints or, or whatever. So um, I'll, I'll give you guys a progress on that. But what my normal routine is, on Mondays, I do chest. It's a straight chest day. So Monday afternoon or evening will be straight chest. Um, Tuesday is buys and shoulders. So I blast the shoulders. I blast the buys. Wednesdays is tries and back. I blast the tries, blast the back. Thursdays is full leg day. So I do full calves, quads, and, quads and hams. And Thursday is usually core day. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do that because, like I said, now that I'm doing this um, cardio routine, I plan on doing core a lot more throughout the week uh, in the morning times with my cardio. So um, I'll probably still do cardio Thursdays. Or I'll switch it up. Excuse me, Fridays. Or I'll switch it up and do... Um, some strong man strengthening type of uh, routines like deadlifts. Uh, the gym that I'm going to, they got a, a, a yoke yoke machine where you can throw it up on your shoulders and walk it. And they got the, the ropes or whatever. So I'll probably be doing the rope joints. And um, I might do that on, on Fridays and, and continue to do something like that on the weekends with a combination of the, the stair climber that they have at that gym. And, um, yeah. That's, that's going to be dope. So that's my routine. Um, again, I'm going to leave you guys with some links to some of the stuff I discussed. Uh, a guy named Omar, Omar Isif. Very funny guy. Very entertaining, but very inf informative and has a lot of experience. Knows what he's talking about. I'm going to leave a video with you guys with his take on lists and hit training. It's more so about what he thinks about hit training and how it affects uh, fat loss. Uh, body fat loss and all that good jazz. I'm going to leave you with my boy Chris Jones um, from Physiques of Greatness. Um, he talks about HIT training, high intensity interval training. And he's going to, he, this video is actually him giving you a demonstration, an example of what it looks like and how he does it. Um, and I'm going to leave you with another video by Chris Jones um, where he talks about list training and his concept behind list training and why he does it, which is part of the reason why I plan on doing this heavily throughout the week instead of high interval training. Uh, a little bit about that video and why I plan on doing that more so is because you're spending a lot more energy when you're doing high intensity training. And again, I told you guys, I don't live a sedentary lifestyle as a military service member. Um, my job requires me to do a lot of moving so I don't want to burn myself out at the gym and then go burn myself out at work and then get off work, be too tired to lift weights. Because again, like I said, I prefer weightlifting over everything and I want to make sure that I get my uh, hypertrophy, if I'm saying that right, muscle building uh, routine down. So, um, yeah. Fitness goals 2016, whatever your fitness goal is, I highly recommend that you go online, do some research, read some literature, buy some books, um, find some people who are heavily fitness based, pick their brain, and basically build your fitness education. Um, again, links will be in the comments or uh, in the description, excuse me. Um, if you like this video, Leave a comment, subscribe, press like, and share. Thank you for checking it out. Iron Gang out. Iron Apes, Iron Addicts.